Hey, it's Mike here, and today we're gonna investigate the environmental effects of dairy. It's incredible that some people don't even consider that food can be the solution or cause to the environmental crisis we're facing, because really changing what you eat can be the most profound thing an individual can do to have a positive impact on the planet, but don't take my word for it. Let's look at the numbers, let's go. Let's start with fresh water because it takes 1,000 gallons of fresh water to produce one gallon of milk. And even further with cheese, it takes 10 gallons of milk to produce one pound of cheese. That, that seems a bit excessive, right? Well, let's put that into context. The United States produces 200 billion pounds of milk per year and 10 billion pounds of cheese. The country also produces 2 billion pounds of butter, which get this, takes 21 pounds of milk per pound. So what does this massive production do in terms of carbon emissions? Well, look carefully because common graphs like this one from the Environmental Working Group can be a little bit misleading with milk way down at the bottom. One might think cow's milk is super eco-friendly. I can drink as much as I want. Sorry, but you shouldn't drink as much cow's milk as you want because these charts only reflect emissions by weight. Milk is a liquid that is mostly water and water is heavy at about eight pounds per gallon. So the footprint can seem smaller than it really is. If we really wanna see the impact of cow's milk, then we have to look at servings because a serving is eight ounces or a cup and a typical serving of meat or plants is usually around four ounces or even less. It's also about how much we produce and we produce nearly 10 times as much milk as we do beef in terms of weight. When you multiply the emissions per weight by the total amount produced in the US, combining milk and cheese together, you get a number that rivals beef. We're looking at about two thirds of total beef emissions for dairy, which is huge. And that's not even counting things like yogurt and butter and ice cream because the environmental working group didn't look at that. Next, in terms of whole diet, Diets, what would happen if people stopped just being flexitarian and changed their diets entirely? Well, this recent Johns Hopkins study looked at just that. According to this chart, if people in the UK switched from their standard diet to a vegetarian diet, they could significantly cut back on their carbon emissions. However, if they stopped eating animal products entirely, they would cut their dietary carbon emissions by 85%. Essentially, if you're trying to be conscious of your food choices, but still eat dairy, you're not doing the planet any favors. Speaking of appetite, check out these manure feeds because dairy farms produce an insane amount of waste. A dairy farm of 2,500 cows produces the equivalent to 411,000 people. That's a massive city. Now, are you ready to think big picture? Let's do some quick math. There are 9.3 million cows in the United States. Each one produces about 120 pounds of waste per day. So 9.3 million times 120 is well over 1 billion pounds of waste every single day. And that's a major contributor to the 39 billion humans worth of solid waste that livestock creates in the United States. Ew, am I right? Farmers have even been known to fall into these vast pits of manure because of the noxious gas and die even on organic farms. We have to think of all of this waste in terms of efficiency because it takes 100 calories of feed for cattle to produce 40 calories of cow's milk. Further, one in six pints of milk produced globally is lost or wasted, equating to 128 million tons of spilled milk each year. This time it's okay to cry over spilled milk. The solution is simple, make the switch for good and ditch dairy. Plant foods have a far less deteriorating effect on the environment, and they also offer a more robust dose of nutrition than cow's milk. If you wanna do your part for the planet, don't just take shorter showers. Next time you go shopping, buy plant milk. All right, that's it, thank you for watching.